A Town Called Terror, issue number six from Image Comics. So I've already done a review on this series, and my complaint about it was the fact that it's way too slow, and it's still pretty slow. So a quick recap. Our main character's name is Henry West. He comes from a town called Terror. He uh, had an abusive dad. He ends up leaving the town when he was, uh, I believe, 19 years old. He uh, goes into the human realm, meets a woman, falls in love, gets married. Um, then he gets kidnapped and brought back to Terror and brought back before his father. And uh, his wife goes searching after him and she uh, gets caught by uh, the police who aren't really the police um, and they lock her up in a cell. Meanwhile with Henry, uh, his dad tells him that his mom has gone missing and he needs to find her. Eventually it turns out that his dad is not really his dad but that his mom had um, cheated on his dad with a priest and so Henry is actually half monster, half human. And the dad has banished the mom. And the dad has uh, tricked the son into trying to find the mom so that he can banish him in the same realm that she's at. And he finds her. She tells him the truth that, you know, this guy is not really your dad. That your dad was a priest and that you have human blood within you. Uh, he eventually escapes the place with his mom. And then he goes to confront his dad. And that's where the previous issue left off. And that's where this issue starts. This issue starts with him confronting his dad. And uh, we basically get a fight scene. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what most of this is. It's mostly just him fighting uh, against his dad, fighting against the dogs that his dad controls. Um, his dad gets in some good hits on him, knocks him down, starts smashing him with a hammer, uh, or I should say a mallet. Looks like he's going to kill him when all of a sudden he gets up, breaks the hammer, uh, rips off the dad's head, and then the dad is still moving about, like the dad's like a Frankenstein, kind of. And um, then he goes and he starts ripping off the dad's body, like limb by limb. And I'm gonna stop it there, and you might be like, wait, why are you stopping there? Uh, because one, I don't wanna spoil anything more. And two, because, um, yeah, I mean, this might seem super short, but that's because that's how this whole series is. Literally, we're, we're, we're six issues in, and I was able to recap everything within a couple of minutes. Not not even a couple of minutes. I was able to recap everything in like a minute or so. That's the problem with this series. The story is very interesting. I, I like it. The artwork is great. It's like photorealistic. Coloring is really cool. I love the uh, the like the, the silhouettes with the minimalist coloring at certain times. The, the way that the reds and oranges and stuff like that are used. Uh, but then you still keep a lot of the black and whites. Very good. Everything about this series is good, minus the pacing. This whole thing that I've just explained could have been done in like an issue or two. I would say two issues at the most. But we're six issues in. Literally, uh, this issue starts with him confronting his dad, or his stepdad, I should say. And we're about, let's see, how many pages before he stops his dad? 16. 16 pages of him fighting his dad. Like, I, I get, you know, manga has whole chapters dedicated to fight scenes and stuff like that. But they, they mix in story with the fights. It's not just straight up fights, but it's like character development, flashbacks, world building as the fights are going on. For the most part, some of them don't really do that. But, um... Plus, it's just, it's just a different genre because manga is usually updated. Uh, well, the shonens are usually one uh, chapter a week. So you're waiting a whole month for this. And it's, yeah, I, I've complained about uh, series that have like fight scenes or action scenes that are only like a page and that's it. This is like the extreme opposite of that. 16 pages of just a fight scene. And that's why the, the the story is like turtle time. It's really weird because Steve Niles, I I like Steve Niles. I like his, his his works. But the big complaint I have with his works is that they all seemed rushed. They all seem like he's pumping everything he can. But that's usually because his stuff will be anywhere from like two to four to maybe six at the most issues. 
He mostly does a lot of miniseries. So he's trying to put in everything he can in as little issues as possible. Here, it feels like he just did the complete opposite. Here, instead of rushing the story, he's turtle timing this story. It is slow as hell. Again, like six issues just to have what could be done in two. So yeah, that's, again, I like the series, but my God, is the pacing just, come on, man, step it up. <laughs> Go a bit faster for me. Yeah, th this is um, this is basically so far a two-issue story. It's not done yet, but of what's been told, it's a two-issue story stretched out to six issues. How much can we pad this one scene? How long can we have one character talking for? Let's have a character talking to his dad for three issues. <laughs> Let's have a fight scene go on for almost an entire issue. Uh, that's basically what the series is. It's, let's take this one scene and let's stretch it out as far as we can go. And then let's take the next scene and let's stretch that out as far as we can go. And it's like, you don't need to do that, man. Like, this can all be condensed down. It, it feels like we're, uh, I don't know. It's like, are you getting paid by the issue? And there's no limit in sight. So you're just like, all right, let's see how many issues I can crank out. Because that's what it feels like. Um, but yeah, there's A Town in Terror. It's just, good story, good artwork, terrible pacing. And yeah, editor needs to step up and just be like, all right, we can trim out so much fat in this. That's what this series feels like. It's like you you took a little tiny story and you just stretched it out for so long that everything slows down because of it. Almost kind of like this video where uh, I could have ended it <laughs> at the three minute mark and I kept stretching it out. So I'm going to end it here. But yeah, there you go. There's a town called Terror. Uh, it, it needs to trim a lot of fat and then it would be great. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.